Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Tyrant speaking and today's speed build is a Victorian inspired build. If you like my builds and videos, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on my Twitter, YouTube and Twitch account for more uploads. This build can be downloaded from the Sims 4 gallery and I have posted a link in the description below. You can also search my original ID, which is Tyrant Sims, and check out my other builds as well. If you don't have time to watch the entire speed build, that's okay, because I have an amazing video tour for you guys to watch in the end of this video. It's been a rough path finishing this build. For some reason, I forgot to turn on my camera, not only once, but twice during this build. So I've been rather annoyed, and I actually didn't want to finish this build. I can be very childish like that, but I usually get over it in the end, so here I am presenting my Victorian house for you all. I can say I have made a Victorian build before. I really enjoyed it though, I know that the exterior is a lot more detailed than what I usually use in my build, so this was a bit of a challenge for me, but I think I managed it quite well for being my first time. You know what they say, practice makes perfect, right? But it is a long way to go. I had some trouble with the roofing hair as well. There were a lot of different angles and it was difficult to make the roof look natural and that it actually belonged to the same house. So I spent a lot of time trying out different stuff and I just had to settle with whatever I ended up with here in the end. It didn't turn out to be half bad, I don't think you will notice and like, ugh, I don't like it. And if you are gonna use this in a play, I don't think that you will look too much at the roof anyways. But if you don't like it, you are more than welcome to change it however you like. In this video, I am yet again using a lot of time lapse, and that's because I was spending hours of trying different stuff and I also forgot to turn on the camera, so... I am jumping a lot back and forth and I don't want to make it too boring by having you guys staring at the same wall for several minutes and nothing's happened because that is very classic me. Currently I am building a new crest and I am using the biggest dot there 40 by 50 I think but you can use this house on a 40 by 30 maybe even on a 30 by 30. 20 I think but then you won't have much of the garden but the house itself isn't that big but there will be a lot of rooms in there in different shapes and different sizes and there is also more room on this lot if you want to expand the house as well. This house is a very old house you have probably heard or maybe even seen one of those houses or buildings where you are prohibited to change the appearance because they want to preserve the old house as it is. It was probably built 200 years ago at least and this is that kind of house and for living in those type of houses I imagine that you are a little old fashioned and you have to respect and appreciate the old historical culture that we have. And even if you want to paint the house, you need to ask some sort of historical council and they are going to make sure that you keep it in this right color. And if you have a broken window, for example, you have to change the window so it matches the rest of the windows. And if those doesn't exist, you actually have to have them custom made, which is going to cost a fortune and you have to pay for it all by yourself. So it is a lot of rules living in these types of houses in Norway. It sucks, but I am really fascinated of them. I could definitely live in one of these houses myself. Not for the rest of my life, but yeah, I could definitely live there for a period of time. I am trying to make this whole house look old, so I am using old looking furniture, wallpapers and floors, but they are not gonna be worn out. I want them to look rather new and uh, well preserved. And you also see me place these radiators in this room since I think it looks quite old. And uh, we used to actually have this on 
the school I went to when I was a kid. I know it says modern in the item list, but I don't find them very modern. I find them rather old fashioned. And in the kitchen that I am decorating now, I am going to use this old pipes as well and that is something that I think belong in houses like this because the all the water pipes and the electricity cable are often on the outside of the wall rather inside the wall as we have them today and I really like these details in this build so it feels more authentic I was really having fun with this so yeah and you will also see me place a lot of items on top of the cabinets in the kitchen I was thinking about my parents house, my grandparents house and pretty much every other houses that I've been in that doesn't have um, cabinets that reach to the ceiling. It's easy to play something on top of there and use them as shelf for pretty much anything. So that is what I also wanted to have here as well. While I was decorating this house, I was actually thinking about a house that I sold some years ago and I remember that it was a bit of a shock when I entered the house. It looked really normal from the outside, but rather than the light green, light blue and white that I am using around in my build, she had used a lot of pink. And I am not joking, some of the rooms could probably have entered the solid color challenge that are going around these days and... It was just scary, seriously scary. But the style itself was really cool, just the colors were a bit too much for my taste. So I was standing in this pink dining room and tried to lie my way during the first meeting, but um, I think I nailed it because I got the assignment and I also sold the house. So, well, yeah, it ended good. But as a real estate agent, you are probably gonna lie a lot and say a lot of bullshit that you really doesn't mean because your taste may be completely different than the owner's house and also the buyer's house so i am currently preparing for a wedding these days i am gonna attend to my best friend's lizard's wedding this weekend and i am gonna be brace yourself guys the best man he wanted me to be his best man in his wedding. I know it's not a very traditional like thing to do but it started out as a joke several years ago and I think we were pretty drunk as well when we decided that I was gonna have this role if he ever would get married. And believe it or not he actually stuck to that and he like well yeah it's a very special situation for me. I have never been a best man before, I have never been a bridesmaid before, so this is something completely new. So I am preparing a speech and I am also packing since this wedding is up in the north, Winterland, so there is not much time for Sims these days, but I wanted to get this video out there before I leave because you guys are the best and I was really excited about showing you all my latest creation. I don't know if any of you have any experience of being a bridesmaid or the best man but if you do and have some tips for a speech or maybe a person it would be great. So they got together after I moved so I don't really know her which makes it impossible to give her a present so I am trying to focus on what he likes and stuff like that but there is a problem. They live in the most tiniest place ever so you can't really buy a thing or stuff like people usually do like pots or a vase or a painting I don't know and uh, well yeah he doesn't have any place to stash it so I was thinking maybe I'll see if I can find something at the at the airport is that bad I don't know okay I should probably have started thinking about this ages ago he called me about a year and a half ago and asked if I could be his best man I have kind of forgot this intentionally since I'm not a speech person. Yes, I can talk to a recording device and I can talk to a customer about a product, but well, yeah, that is not the same, you know. So I'm quite nervous about this, but it will be fun, I think. 
I hope at least, cause the plane ticket and hotel cost a fortune, but there will be alcohol there, so I think everything's gonna be really, really smooth. But I have to end this recording a few minutes earlier than I usually do because I am way behind schedule in my writing and finding a present and packing. My plane leaves tomorrow morning so this is my last night to get ready. But enjoy the rest of this build and upcoming video tour and remember to give me a thumbs up if you like this build and also follow me on my Twitter, YouTube and Twitch account. You can also leave me a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can improve my future builds and video. So enjoy the upcoming weekend and I see you guys all next week and I will have these amazing builds for you guys. So take care everyone. Bye bye. Yeah.